Recently, I bought a sketchbook that I've decided to fill up with 10 minute only sketches. A, to get some easy content out. B, to get some practice in. C, to make longer videos so I can actually talk a little more. And D, because I've heard multiple times that the YouTube algorithm prefers to push longer videos. As of now, I've stuck to shorter form videos, mainly due to not having to look for multiple pieces of copyright free music, since my options are limited and I would prefer not to reuse songs, so I might just keep the track I use for longer videos on a loop from now. So today I'll be drawing a quick portrait and I'll leave the link to the reference photo in the description if you'd like to join me. Perhaps you could even compare what we've made together at the end. I'll be using a fine liner, maybe even for the entirety of this sketchbook because I have so many lying around and also because all of my preliminary sketches in pencil end up so faint that the camera can barely pick them up. Onto the actual theme of this video, I'm currently absolutely dreading the summer. My anxiety is at an all-time high for reasons completely out of my control and ones I will not be discussing here. So, to escape my temporary miserable existence, I watch a lot of TV. Well, personally, I wouldn't say I watch a lot of TV, but my family would contest that. And I do also read a lot, but I've been struggling to find good books, and TV offers a faster, cheaper distraction. Therefore, the topic of this video will be TV shows. Let's start with Bleach. I actually started Bleach a long time ago in high school after being introduced to DVD box sets of multiple anime by a close friend of mine, anime including Death Note and Naruto. For some reason, once the Bleach box sets ran out, I never continued it. Maybe because the internet wasn't as heavily accessible as it is now, or maybe because of exams, etc. I don't know. But recently, this very friend recommended the new Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War, and now my interest has reignited, so I've been re-watching the original animation and enjoying it. I love the characters, the designs, the fights, the plot and power upgrades are more debatable, but the humour and other things are still great. Except for Orihime. I'll try not to spoil anything, but that one scene when Ichigo and Ulkyora are fighting above that canopy or whatever, it was traumatic enough to awaken the Sharingan, but still the girl had nothing. I was fully waiting for her to come through, so that was extremely disappointing. Also, the fight with Aizen and the random, well not random, but unjustified power-up was a slight letdown. And I know that's common in anime, along with all sorts of various plot armour, so I'll let it go for now. I watched Bridgerton's Charlotte, which was okay. I had no idea the actress that played the younger version of Lady Danbury, Arsema Thomas, was American. It was only in an interview where she said two words that gave it away. One of them I've forgotten, but the other one was Band-Aid. This same thing happened to me a long time ago with Killian Murphy, who I first saw in Batman Begins. I legit thought he was American. Other shows I've been watching include Supernatural because of my Buffy withdrawal, which is decent. Some episodes definitely hit harder than others, but the show does stagnate a lot and it gets very repetitive. I also started Columbo because I remember my dad used to watch it when I was young and I saw that it was available so I sat there admiring the square composition and how they move actors on and off the screen and everything. But when the end credits came up and I saw it was produced by Steven Spielberg, I could not believe it. How long has this man been working? Columbo was from the 70s, I thought Spielberg was only 50ish now. Me and my sister have just started the fifth season of Animal Kingdom and honestly watching something with her is impossible because she's never in the mood to watch anything and on the rare occasions we do sit down together, we end up being interrupted frequently. So I haven't been able to get into it properly and I can't tell if it's circumstance or the show itself. Because season four did slightly drop off, mainly the Smurf backstory side of it, in my opinion. I saw that season 4 of Titan has been released, so I'm looking forward to watching that, but probably after Bleach. The Witcher season 3 I think is out as well. Honestly, with The Witcher, I can barely remember what's going on with the main plot. I just watch it for the side stories with the demons and dragons, etc. I might read the books one day for the whole story as it is. On the topic of TV shows, but not ones I'm watching and have no desire to watch. 
I've been hearing pretty negative reviews about Exo Kitty and even more negative reviews about Sam Levinson's The Idol. I cannot even believe they let the latter show air. I haven't actually seen the show, but I've watched a lot of YouTuber commentaries on it and it sounds disgusting. I fully can't even listen to The Weeknd's voice anymore and on the occasion when I'm exposed to it through my brother, I just feel sick. Regarding movies, I watched the second Avatar, which was boring, not gonna lie. I watched it for the world, but it was mostly just prolonged, pointless action. I started the Matilda musical, but it wasn't it, and so I probably won't finish it. My sister made me watch an Indian movie called Gala, in which the cinematography was amazing. Any of those scenes, specifically in the first half, could be paintings, I swear. The movie itself was okay. I'm more curious about the death of the actual male singer in real life. Fascinating, truly. I realised while editing I have some extra time to fill, so let's continue a while longer. Speaking of fascinating, the Netflix documentary American Manhunt The Boston Marathon Bombing was insane. The only thing I'd ever heard about this event was through a reference in a Marina and the Diamonds song called Savages, and I always meant to look it up but never got round to it, when suddenly it appeared in front of me and I was like, it's time. Little did I know how wild it was about to get. I had no idea that the city and surrounding areas went into a lockdown, I didn't know who the culprits were but I wouldn't have guessed they were brothers, and that the younger one would run over the older one. It was crazy. All the law enforcement and civilians there, my god, I cannot even imagine how they were feeling. I watched Citadel, but I stopped at the last episode out of sheer disinterest. I don't know what happened, it was fine, it just got so boring. I didn't like that little plot twist, slight spoiler alert about the child and her father, etc. It pretty much put me off. The serious spy genre is not one of my favourites, I will admit, along with sci-fi. Those two are at the bottom for me. The quality of the show was really good though. One thing they overdid was the rotating camera effect. I don't know if it was supposed to symbolise anything, but yeah. I watched Kunk on Earth, which I really enjoyed and would highly recommend. It's a pretty short series, a mockumentary, only 5 episodes and around 30 minutes each. I showed my brother, but he said he didn't like it, which surprised me, but oh well. I watched the first four episodes of Junji Ito's Japanese Tales of the Macabre. Of the four I've seen, the best one so far was The Hanging Balloon. I actually zoned out during the second episode and have decided to rewatch it another time, so technically I've only seen three. I have to say I prefer the manga. I only have Tomi, Uzumaki and Venus in the Blind Spot. I preferred Uzumaki over Tomi, and after reading The Human Chair in Venus in the Blind Spot, I've been wanting to read some of Edogawa Rampo's stories. I love the fact that his pen name was inspired by Edgar Allan Poe. Amazing. I finished Never Have I Ever, which was okay. Just the other day, I saw that there's a Stan Lee documentary on Disney Plus that I will look into soon. Otherwise, from Disney, even though reviews have trashed these two movies, I will fully watch the live-action Little Mermaid and Elemental once they're released. I don't really care for live-action remakes, I would prefer new 2D animated content. If they ever decide to create ones for Treasure Planet, Atlantis The Lost Empire, Hercules or The Hunchback of Notre Dame, I would watch them. Also, I forgot to mention this before, it's so annoying watching Bleach on Disney Plus because the default language is set to English, so I have to keep switching back and forth from Japanese to English whenever I switch shows. The Simpsons was another thing I was considering watching from scratch, out of curiosity. I only ever saw bits and pieces of it on TV in my youth and it looked okay. That is all I can think of to mention for now. If there are any shows or movies you've been watching that are good, let me know. I'm open to new things and pretty much any genre with sci-fi and spy being at the bottom, no offence, but if it's good then hit me. This also extends to non-English or western media. I'd ask for book recommendations but I think I'll save that for another time when I have some extra money to spend and when I finish all the ones I currently have. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching.